Ooh. Ah. Hello there. What? What's up, my NSAPs? Welcome to my channel. So, today I'm going to be reacting to The Legend of Vox Machina, Season 1, Episode 6, Spark of Rebellion. I know you guys are telling me that this show is very, very dark and is not afraid to get dark, which I clearly experienced in the last episode. But I'm really hoping it's not that horrible because, like, that was intense. That was really intense, especially the way they chose to end the episode with the end credits sounds. Mm -mm. I'm a little nervous to get into this one, although the rebellion part sounds nice. Maybe, you know, they get a chance to stand up to the vampire jerks. So I guess we'll see, but I'm not ready. I might need to grab, like, a supportive plush if it gets really bad. I wanted to show off the new merch, by the way. This is in the merch shop currently. These are some new zip jackets we've got. We've got this design on some long sleeves and sweaters and all kinds of good stuff and on pants. This is actually my mom's jacket. She supported and got one of these zip hoodies. It's a super, super cute design and it comes in other options. Like instead of saying fangirl, some say fanboy. And then for my non-binary friends, uh, it says fan MB. So yeah, definitely check it out. Link is in the description. Stay tuned as well. There's going to be limited edition Halloween designs, special arcane designs in November and then limited edition Christmas designs for December so a lot of good stuff happening there go check it out really appreciate it don't forget to like subscribe for more videos go ahead and check me on my social media accounts where I post starting the cool stuff if you want to see the full version of this reaction you can click the patreon link down below and now without any further ado let's get into it I'm nervous gather every able-bodied fighter in white stone <laughs> oh hi Thank the dawn, Father, you're alive. Oh, yeah, spark of, yeah, rebellion that they formed it within the walls of the city, I'm assuming. Yikes, yikes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Already? These people are just ruthless. Oh, and they're so creepy looking. <laughs> oh my god. I'm burning you off my balls. Jeez. These Briarwood people are not even people, creatures. They're just extremely, unimaginably awful. It's already so dark, I don't want to be here. Are you crazy? Out of the streets, hide! Yikes, 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 yikes. Oh, they're so ugly looking. You're part giant. Because oh, we all fucking know each other. <laughs> You're part giant. <laughs> oh, what? Because we all fucking know each other. Are you part of the resistance? Uh, sorry, I, I don't follow. The Demerno Crest. Oh. Maybe the resistance is using it. We're yeah. not with them, but we do share an enemy. Yep. Perhaps They're... we can be of use to each other. I can't get over how much he looks like Mako. I can't. If you want change here, Yenin is the only one who can help bring it. This friends. is so intense. A new dawn is coming, friends. And soon we will bask in its glory. Do they, like, keep them prisoner here? Like, is there no way for these guys to run and escape? Because it's like, why stay? The only thing I can think of is that they're forcing them to stay. You know, basically become pr prisoners in their own town, in their own city. Which, okay, that would make sense. I could see the Briarwoods doing that. But, like, if not, why can't you just leave? Take care, young one. Is that... That's not Shadow Weaver's voice actress, is it? We don't see many new faces these days. Oh my god, don't even, don't even tell me that is Shadow Weaver's voice actress. There is no way. I thought I was recognizing it, but I was like, mm. she's speaking in a higher pitch than she typically does. And definitely higher than when she did Shadow Weaver's voice or even the voice of the queen in Nimona. Or even the voice she did in Orange is the New Black because she was in that too. I gotta check this. Hold on. I gotta check this. It's gonna drive me nuts. recognize her voice oh my god dude no way that's why i recognize her voice it's not the voice actress who does shadow weaver it's gina torres that's so cool she's latina bro i know exactly who this actress is i watch one of the shows that she's in 911 lone star i believe is the one she's in yeah you truly believe the dawn father will send a sign mm. it's you yeah little percival little percival what have you become I am what they made me. They'll listen to the rightful heir. True. Groups can be messy. But you're also true. Group. No offense, Percy, but you're a titty bit too little to lead. 
Wait, we have a height requirement? Oh. Wait, yeah, wait, we have a height requirement? If that's the case, then you're definitely out, buddy. Sorry. I thought we were all sort of co-leaders. <laughs> oh, here we go. Can't even manage these guys. Sounds like them, though. Okay, so do these giants just patrol every night or just all day, every day? This place kind of looks like shit. Yeah. Looks can be deceiving. Yeah, it's probably like, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's shitty on the inside, too. Scanlan? Not now, man. Really not now. This is not the place to be acting this way. No. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. There's no alcohol for you. I'm so sorry. Focus on the task at hand, Grog. All our resources are dwindling, mm -hmm. including ale. I will fucking murder It's a good way to use his rage just trigger the one thing he loves the most in this world, other than women, apparently. The only way to win is if the resistance is strong enough. And the resistance isn't strong yeah, enough. Yeah, but because how? Their leader has been captured. Uh, oh. There it is. He's set to be hanged tomorrow. Oh. Oh, that's the one that they infiltrated. Oh, okay, earlier in the episode. Got it. It's Archibald Desnay. Oh, no. But how? We grew up together. Oh. His father worked in the kitchen. He raised hell all over the country. Oh, ho. Time. That's cute. Birds of the century. Can you do something with that, Keyleth? That would be absolutely fan freaking tastic. Oh, if she could use that giant ass tree to do something, that'd be great. I'm Keyleth of the Ashari. Oh, she's so cute. You can't take the Briar Woods alone. And this town could use some help. Mm hmm. It's certainly not the worst idea we've had. <laughs> For the ale! For the ale! I was gonna say, like, Rock, why are you taking her away from that? Let her touch the roots! At the moment, our holy person is. Elsewhere. Oh, that's right. That's right. Hear me. Oh, Pike. She's so whittle. She's so cute. Jeez. You could Briarwood's curse. You could do it. It isn't letting me contact the Everlight. My child. It's impossible. Okay. Whatever is blocking you is inside yeah. of you. Yeah, internal, it's your own thing. I love that because that is so symbolic of like mental stuff too, like anxiety, depression, just, you know, stuff like that where, you know, a lot of times it starts with you. It's in your brain. You decide what works and what doesn't, what's true and what's not, you know? When you realize that and really just empower yourself to change your mindset, you can, and I love that. I love that they're kind of like tapping into that a bit in this. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Sounds about right. That's how it is in the real world, man. Oh, they haven't killed him yet. Oh, intro. Oh, that's right. He's scheduled to hang the next day. That's right. The idea of you matey lot thinking you're heroes in some grand story. You're not very good at this. Oh. <laughs> if you won't take me seriously. Ew. Be the Duke. That was disgusting. I do hope you and I can engage in a stimulating conversation because you'll find the alternative most disagreeable. Oh my fuck! Jeez! Oh, oh, that looked awful! Oh, why? Oh, the show and the sound effects! Oh. So here's my idea how to bust Archie out. Okay. I'll speak to the local animals. Oh, here we go. The, the drawings, not the freaking drawings. This is a job for Scanlan the Revolutionary. <laughs> not the, the beret. I infiltrate the prison with all these potions I found. Uh -huh. I don't know what they do yet, but let's assume they make me a da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, one day. Oh my god. Why? Okay, so we have uh, a Catra, a Verosica, and Mr. Monopoly guy. Those were bad ideas, and you should all feel bad. And you should all feel bad! Okay, Vex and Vax, what do you guys got? But if we're going to get Archie out of that prison, we need to know exactly where they're holding him. Hmm. I may have something that can assist. Okay. Where is Fox Machina? None. Don't worry about it. What's up, Fox Machina? I love it. He's tough! You're not gonna break him. He took his ear, but you won't break his spirit. I've only just begun. Oof. Send for me when this one wakes. Oof. Ooh, gotcha. that's cool. Super cool He's sniper. On the floor. What is that thing? This? Oh. Yeah. Nothing but bad news. Okay. Okay, this is how. 
that's a magic bag. Notice how it like went in and then just kind of... Okay, interesting. Is that going to actually work or are we going to lose that like we did the wonderful stack of supplies you guys had bought for this freaking trip that just then fell over the edge of a cliff. Somebody did not roll high that day. <laughs> It'll be easier to avoid capture if we split into two teams. Front door team and back door team. You know, Scandog's all about the back door, but quick. I was like, that could easily be turned into a sex joke, and there he is with it. Thank you, Scanlon. How many? How many rolls? How many was that? Was that three? Three failed attempts at picking the lock? Is that what it was? If that's the case, I have been there, my friends. I have been there. Baldur's Gate, I ran out of so many toolkits. <sighs> he got the freaking. <laughs> He got the beret, of course he did. But actually, you know what? It works for him. Max? Keep moving. We can't just leave them. Everyone's getting out early for bad behavior. For bad behavior. <laughs> oh, it's not a door. It's a thing of evil. It's a thing of evil. I'm going to find a window. Uh, I mean, why didn't you think of the window before? <laughs> You're supposed to be watching the front door. We came for a fight. What? They're so sad. I fell out of the window. <laughs> oh my god. You guys had no luck. You guys had absolutely no luck. Ew. Ew, was that the freaking waste bucket? Dear god. Wait, what's this crowd? Yeah, about that. Picked it up along the way. Why are you covered in piss? Ew. Picked it up along the way. Ew. You had a great response. That's so gross. Archie. Oh, they found him. Oh, good. Archibald. Percy. Oh. I don't think this is going to go well. You describe the plan, it usually does not go well if you describe the plan. Is this the afterlife? We're not dead yet, friend. We're getting out of here together. <laughs> I don't think so, yeah. It was way too smooth, okay. really. You'll at least die together. No, let's not do that. Oh, no. Throw down your arms, return to oh, yourself, and maybe I'll let you live. Kill the gnome. No. I'm too handsome to die. I'm too handsome to die. What's a guy got to do to get some action around here? What? <laughs> Illusion magic. Well done, buddy. That was so smart. Well freaking done. That was genius. No, 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 no. Ooh. Oh. I knew it. I was like, that one's gonna. Oh, I'm, a, I'm sure she's about to do something really, really freaking cool, but like, oh, that just gave me such flashbacks to The Walking Dead. If you know then you know. Like, I'm not gonna describe what that just brought me back to, but if you're a Walking Dead fan and you if and you saw all of the seasons, then you know exactly what moment I'm talking about. That was a lot of feels. That was a lot of feels in that one moment. I freaking knew it. I was like, they're highlighting that character a little bit too much, and they were, she, she they were looking happy, and I'm like, that's not gonna last, and there it is. Oh, yes, Keyleth! Yes, Keyleth! Oh, I love her. I love her. Grog, focus, buddy. <laughs> he took one with him. Of course he did. Let me go. What are you doing? Just like the old days. Clean a diversion. Oh. You fucking dog. But they just say they rescued you. This whole thing was to get you out of prison. Check this out. Yeah. I love how Percy has a gun. Like, not very typical for D&D, but it's great. Oh, it's on his... <gasps> oh, you're next, buddy. As promised, you're excellent. Damn. Chivalrous. <laughs> After being as beat up as he was and having his ear ripped out, this dude is still kicking ass as much as he is. That adrenaline must be pumping really well right now. Wait. Where's Percy? Where's Percy? He's going after that Stonewall guy. Percy, or Stonefell, whatever wait. his name is. Oh, are you gonna do your, like, no mercy Percy? There he is! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, you're screwed now, buddy. Let me say, you were the one I was least looking forward to. Ooh. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, good luck, buddy. I think you're dead. 
No, no, no. Don't let the mask fool you. Damn! Well done, Percy. I wanted you to know it was me. What's going on with your eyes? What is that? Oh, wow! Okay, I get it! Dude, he went so dark. It literally just takes him over completely. Even in his eyes, it shows. I want to know what that specifically is. Obviously, it's some kind of darkness, dark magic, spirit, whatever, that he probably made a deal with to become this and to do these things. But, geez, that's scary. Stonefell helped slaughter them and laughed while it happened. Mm. I am the sole surviving Dorolo. You are not the last Dorolo. What? Your sister, <gasps> Sandra. What? She lives. What? When are your friends coming back? <sighs> that hasn't been his sister this whole time, has it? Or is his sister somewhere else? She's gonna light it, bro. Yeah, say goodbye. I use barrels too in a rock play. Well done. Well freaking done. That'll clear him out. Yep. Real quick. Oh, shit! I have a sister. I'm sure you've heard about your brother. Ugh. But this changes nothing. That they... They've raised her to, like, be their daughter? Dude, what an incredible episode! That was such a good episode. Holy crap! So his sister lived, but what is the deal with the freaking Briarwoods and her? Wow, that was crazy. That was crazy good though. I definitely enjoyed that one better than the last one. Like this one had violence and stuff, but the last one was just reached a whole different level of darkness with that ending, man. But this was great. Wow, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's gonna go on next. I'm super intrigued now that to know that his sister's been alive this whole time. Like, what does this mean? What's gonna happen? It's it's super exciting, so I'm looking forward to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to see the full version of this reaction, you can click the Patreon link down below. Don't forget to check out the new merch store as well. Link in the description. Get some cool stuff. Stay tuned for limited edition seasonal stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye!